Everybody. Well, welcome to another Animal Crossing New Horizons stream, everybody. We're going back just for a little bit. Good evening, everyone! Server maintenance from 8.55 p.m. Okay, guess we maybe won't be doing the Dream, uh, Dream Towns today, then? Right now on Lutra, it's 8.06 p.m. on Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. Last day of August. Now for today's announcements. First, I have an ordinance update. The beautiful island ordinance is in full effect starting today. Please join our effort as we focus on watering flowers, removing weeds, and reducing our garbage output. Let's all work together to protect the natural beauty of our beloved home. Next, I'd like to introduce the newest resident here on Lutra. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Lutra welcome to Zucker! Yes! <laughs> Makes me so happy to have a new friend on the island. Moving on. Today, our museum welcomes its newest addition, a cafe called The Roost. The owner, Brewster, may be a bird of few words, but his coffee is so good that it can say it all for him. Blivers, our museum curator, has informed me that, like the museum, the cafe will be open 24 hours a day. So Brewster just doesn't get to sleep then? I know I can't wait to duck in for a quick coffee break, and I bet a lot of you can't wait either. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you're interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Thanks, Isabel. You're a sweetie. <laughs> do the stretch. <laughs> I'll do the stretch. <laughs> Maybe not right away. Aka's back to her normal outfit! It looks so nice. Why, good evening, Tut Tut. Let's chat. Isn't this weather gorgeous, Tut Tut? It makes Lutra look as if it could be the background for a fashion shoot. It is pretty nice. We've got mail from Mom. My dear Artie, when I see a falling star, I close my eyes and wish for... Nice try, darling. It's a secret, of course. Here's to making wishes and chasing dreams. I hope our wishes come true. <laughs> Guru, you want to know how to write a great letter to a friend? Just be straightforward. Tell them all the things you like to know about them that would be too awkward to say in real life. You're welcome, your mentor, Rodney. <laughs> Thanks, Rodney. Okay, our first step. We could keep wearing Max's dragon shirt, or we could change our outfit a smidge. Now, if I've got the right outfit in mind, so I could go, like, super dapper, be like, full suit, monocle, and go around looking like the hoity-toity upper class. Or, provided I have the right stuff. Alright, the real thing is, do we have the right glasses? Uh, yes, we do. Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait till you guys see this. This is gonna be awesome. Uh, what kind of pants do we have? Uh, these, these are the best pants. Oh, yes. Now, you're probably wondering, wait, Artie, like, what's with the outfit? I mean, yeah, it looks kind of cool, but, like, is there any meaning behind it? Well, the answer is yes, of course there is, because if we go over here, should I change up my look? No, I'm happy with my look, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. Hairstyle. All right. There's one hairstyle in particular that we're looking for. There it is. <laughs> and all of a sudden, we're Guy Fieri and we're rolling out. <laughs> we're going to check out the latest diners, drivers, and dives. <laughs> this is a new vocal joint held by the Roost. <laughs> held by local legend Brewster. This is the Roost. <laughs> Man, I should have named my place Flavor Town. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe we'll change up our outfit more than once. Wow, look at all the bugs. <laughs> Caught a tiger beetle. Oh yeah. I dug up a thousand bells. Well, I'm not planting the tree today. Five HP for the pure vessel. Best of luck. That's going to be a tall order, but I have I have confidence. Uh-oh. The growing black tulips are going to make it so I can't get all of my rocks out. Because <laughs> they can only fall within a one square radius. 
Anyhow, we can, we can explore the rest of it later, but right now we got to go down to the Able Sisters because we didn't get a chance to go there last time. Because I think they close at 8.30, which is about 20 minutes away. What's with all the sticks? <laughs> hey, Able Sisters! We're just checking a look out here! It's ridiculous. Hi there, welcome to the Able Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovingly by Claw. It's been a while, Mabel. Hey, Sable, how's my girl doing? Hey, we made it to Wednesday, halfway through the week. I always figure that if you can get to Wednesday, the rest of the week is easy. It's like sewing downhill. Ah, uh, I like Sable. I like how she warms up to you after a while. Do you need the fitting room? Alright, let's, let's see. The okay! We need the bold Aloha shirt. Absolutely, we need the bold. Should we go purple or should we go blue? It's hard to decide. They both look good. I'm normally not a fan of the purple, but it actually looks surprisingly good. Mmm, I think blue might be... Maybe just because the blue works with the pants. I mean, they're both good. But I, I think we got. I think we gotta go for that. You also have samurai armors. That's pretty nice. Waistcoat, we got... No, I'm not into the skirts. We can buy ninja costumes. Oh my gosh, the lettered cap for La Isla. That's pretty cool. Alright, alright, we'll buy those two. Ready? To... Yes, please. I do not want to wear them on the way out, though. And we'll tell you, let's buy the, the, these on display look pretty good. Samurai shirt is, that's kind of a lot. I'll buy it, though. And we'll buy this so we can be a ninja. Oh, also, what did Mom send us? Mom's pen stand. <laughs> Where did Flavor Town go? Oh, how indecent. That's better. Oh my gosh! I remember Snake. He's he's like the purple he's the purple rabbit with like the blue outfit, right? I had him back in the GameCube town. He was so cool. Oh also, yeah, I almost forgot. Nook Miles. Gotta do some weeding. Oh, we definitely gotta talk to our neighbors. That's a gotta. Ninja Bunny, yeah. There are some really unique villagers out there. Also, even though he's simple, one of my favorites is Tom the Cat, who literally looks like Tom from Tom and Jerry. Just a fan... I love the reference characters like that. Also, we never actually... I don't think we ever actually went to Coco's house last time. Coco kind of lives secluded up here on this cliff by herself. But... I ch I've done my best to try to make her uh, place look fancy. She's got this nice. She's got this nice like burn pit in her yard with some bamboo as well. I forgot there's the rock up here as well. Whoa! Nice! Congrats! Pure Vessel Hype! Yeah, before I go to the museum, I want to make sure I have all the fossils. That way I only have to make one trip instead of two. I don't know why I keep... Sm well, I'm smashing the rocks to try to find the money rock. Because I have more than enough stones and ore to uh, <laughs> get the job done. Also, I wonder who the special guest of the day is. It's pretty much always a special guest of the day. 
Yesterday it was KK, unexpectedly. The real reason we got Zucker in the campsite, he knew we had a, a soda machine right outside the camp area. As long as we get, like, an actual snack vending machine and, like, a porta potty then we're set. That's, like, the perfect place to camp. Also on the lookout for the message in a bottle and potential... They added... A galaxy Squirrel? Wait, really? I don't even know all of the villagers. I had the... Again, my first Animal Crossing game was the one for the GameCube, and we actually had the Prima Strategy Guide for that, but um, the Prima Strategy Guide for Animal Crossing GameCube is not exactly known for being accurate. Like, they had a duck named Bill who was listed, like, three different times as a villager. He was listed as, like, a special villager, and as a duck, and as a goat, even though he is... a very much a duck. Oh no, old reliable. Wait, there's a there's a chocolate chip alligator in the game? How did I not know about this? No weeds are allowed near Anka's house. It's unacceptable! So that's also nice to know that the pumpkins grow year-round. Whoa. That's a fancy-looking stag. Hubunk! Oh, no, that was just a regular old Miami stag. Never mind. Let's make a new shovel, and then we gotta say hello to our new favorite villager, Zucker. Let's craft... I just remember Wild World took out a whole bunch of the, uh... Oh my gosh, I can't even make a flimsy shovel, because I need hardwood. Alright, then let's find some hardwood. Coco! What you doing outside of Redwall Abbey? Whoa, I did not mean to try to kill you there. Artie, how are you, USA? I'm about midway for digging for gold. It's such a great book. That's nice, sugar. And now my axe broke. Great! <gasps> Whoa, what the heck is with that blue beetle? I need it. A Rosalia Batesti Beetle. Oh, I already caught it before, apparently. Now I need to buy a new axe. Maybe I can make one. I could always dip into my storage. I have tons of wood in storage. Make that flimsy axe. Make that flimsy axe. Turn it into a stone axe. And we still need one more piece of hardwood. Because of course we do. I don't want my axe at the top of my tool, no. No, I need t you gave me every type of wood except for hardwood. There we go. Close enough. Jay, thank you very much for the sub for 22 months in a row. My goodness, that's almost two years now. Thank you very much. Enjoy the gold banana. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Don't mind us. We're just playing as Guy Fieri and uh, <laughs> going through Flavor Town. <laughs> All right. No. Uh, 
Uh, how do we uh, manage our favorites? I've forgotten everything I know about Animal Crossing. Clear favorite. Where's the stone? Yes, I'm very OCD about favoriting stuff in the right spot. <laughs> That's what's in muscle memory. All right, now let's say hello to our brand new, best new favorite, super awesome villager. The one, the only, the delicious, King Zucker. Oh my gosh, she's got grass. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'm out done moving. You were right. This island is neat. I'm real excited to live on Lutra. I want to play with everybody, but first, Bloop, I gotta get unpacked. Well, uh, do you need a hand? <laughs> you talk to Zucker, you get the ultimate reward. <laughs> oh, no, we got to, uh, gotta grow fruit trees, I guess, as one of our missions. Oh, is that so? <laughs> oh, nice! I don't care, it, it, that's perfectly fine for people to spoil villagers for me. <laughs> It's not like I'm going to try to get them all or anything. I just, if I see a villager that I like that's cool, I'm like, I gotta have, I gotta have him. <laughs> yes, I do treat villagers like they're commodities. That's probably not good. <laughs> oh, hey, looks like Sydney's playing New Horizons as well. She's got good taste. Where's the message in a bottle? I thought there was supposed to be one every night. <laughs> oh, hey, Mobius, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, it's, the, it's not like I want to stream late or anything. It's just, sometimes it just happens. Although, folks, we may end up having to stream... Uh, we might have to end up changing our stream schedule in the near future because... Um, my Tuesday Bible study is, I believe, either disbanding or moving to a different day. And it may end up happening now on Monday nights. So we might end up changing our stream schedule completely. Oh my gosh, I forgot that our Flamango has toy Flamangos in her house. I am so, so, so happy that you came! How's it going, Flora? I'm kind of low-key picky about my chairs. Mainly, they gotta look cute. The trendier, the better. And if they're comfy, that's totes a bonus. I... This is neither trendy nor comfy. So, um... Is that your bed, or is this... Nope, this is your bed. I hope you don't mind if I sleep in your sleeping bag, Flora. It's not weird or anything, right? <laughs> I might change my stream times. If I end up... If Bible study gets moved to Monday nights... Then I may end up, instead of streaming... Well, instead of streaming Monday and Wednesday, I might change it to Tuesday and Thursday. Well, we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Well, that's true. Maybe the log is comfier for her. Where, okay, I've, isn't there normally a message in the bottle once every day? Because I'm not seeing the message in the bottle anywhere. Alright, U of M Lion is in his house. And so is Joey! Yeah, Bible study, eh? Not Canadian Bible study, though. That's a different night. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> okay, to commence Mott's special training. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding, USA. <laughs> alright, alright, let's hear it. I know I'm showing off a little with this outfit. After all, basic clothes like this really let my muscles do the talking, and they talk loud, USA. <laughs> This guy was one of my originals. You start with two villagers, and he was one of them. So I have a special soft spot for Mott. And not just because he reminds me of my favorite brand of applesauce. Speaking of Flavortown... Joey! You home? He is! As cool as Joey's house looks in this, I really miss his GameCube house. 
His house in the GameCube version, he has grass on the floor, like a tent tarp, a swimming pool in the middle, and like four sprinklers spraying into the swimming pool. It's really cool. <laughs> Howdy, hang out for as long as you want. My salsa is your salsa. Here, let's talk. This log extra long sofa fits my butt perfectly. <laughs> That's probably the most organic dialogue I've heard out of this game. <laughs> What's up, Bleak? This is for you. Huh? Do I get something? <laughs> uh, what should we give him? We give him the samurai shirt. We're not giving him um, our mom's stuff. Let's give him the chocolate wall. Here, it's new wallpaper. I didn't want this. Oh man, this is a chocolate hallway wall. You like chocolate, right? <laughs> Don't eat it. Thanks. I'm stoked to get any gift from you, Bleak. I want to thank you. Here, man, a throwback gothic mirror. I hope you like it, Bleak. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. What a pal. I like, I like Joey. With the DLC, you can change the villagers' houses the way you want. Jeez! What the heck? <laughs> like, I know Animal Crossing is moving in the direction where they're like, you can customize everything. I can't... I feel like at some point you're just supreme dictator and have absolute power and lord it over everyone you live with. I liked how in the GameCube one you were just kind of like an inhabitant in the town and lived with the people and not lived over the people. <laughs> I like both, but... I don't know. I feel uncomfortable even taking this much power in a fictional sense. Oh yes, Klaus is in his house. The swimming pool is not a big swimming pool. It's like a kiddie pool. He's wearing his toga. Oh my gosh, and he has the super regal music. And despite having, like, marble floor and walls and really old, like, Roman pottery, he also still has a hot tub and two different types of toilets. Or, I'm sorry, a toilet and a... S Wait, that's a toilet and a bidet, unless I'm mistaken. Okay, then. Welcome, welcome, back for another episode of The Klaus Show. What you doing? Glad you asked. I'm just making a wooden double bed. The recipe came to me in a dream. Oh, you already know how to make a wooden double bed. Sure do, or yep. Well, great minds think alike, don't they? Haha. <laughs> Seeing as I already have the recipe written down here, so take it with you and share it with a friend. Everyone deserves a chance to make the wooden double bed designed by yours truly. <laughs> so, once again, you can say yes or no. If you've never learned the recipe, or yes, or yes, if you have already. It will be the next greatest phase. You could help start an international phenomenon at two. <laughs> Thanks, Klaus. It's the thought that counts, I suppose. <laughs> Did somebody say the thought that counts? No, not no count. Not you. Oh. I dug up a fossil. Isn't that just fossil-tastic? No, this is not going to be the last time I stream on a Monday or Wednesday. I'd be very surprised if it was. It's more just, hey, this is something that will probably happen in the near future. It's just when we, have to, when we uh, get the chance to figure things out. Oh, and now that I got bamboo... I can craft some I can craft that bamboo thing that I got last time. I think my town might have too much stuff. <laughs> so many flowers, so many pumpkins. Yes, let's craft the wooden bamboo thing. There's too much stuff. Ah, here it is. Oh, my pockets are full. Because of course they are. Eh. Okay, let's do- I hate how the recipes take up room. This is why- I, this is why I keep dumping the recipes outside my house.
Yeah, I heard that the DLC is basically the happy home designer, uh, like, 3DS game. There's definitely a lot of stuff you can do, it's just, do I want to do it? Okay, well, you know what, uh... Wait, can you not eat bamboo in this? I thought you could eat bamboo. Huh. Oh, no, I know what I'm gonna do. We still have these clams just kind of hanging out, so let's make some fish bait. Fish bait, ooh ha ha! <laughs> you gotta use a hammer and a wrench when making fish bait, duh. I don't even want to think about what we're doing to that poor clam. But now that because we can stack fish food together, we have more room. Steamed clams. <laughs> oh, hey! Lobo is uh, doing the stretch. Or not Lobo. Oh, yeah, Lobo. Hey, it's Artie. Always a pleasure. What's the latest? After a walk, I like to throw back a nice buttermilk. Ow! Let's get, uh, get one together sometime. It's a tape deck. Let's stretch. Guy Fieri, we're gonna stretch! <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I don't have the card or amiibo. Oh, whoa! Groups, this is like literally a group. I thought it was just gonna be like me and Lobo. Group stretching instructions. There are two play options. Move your body while holding a Joy-Con or press buttons on a controller. Uh, we're gonna have to do the second one. You must be using a Joy-Con controller to play using body movement. Group stretching tips. When the session starts, movement guides or button prompts will be shown on the screen. What is this? Follow along the guide and try to move with everyone else. This group stretching session will start with button controls since you are not using the Joy-Cons. True. It's time for group stretching! Derek, why are you making us do this? Hold L up to stand up straight. Oh. I am very bad at this. Oh, never mind. You do not have to be on time at all. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest things I've seen in Animal Crossing. Oh, whoops. I am so off. This is very strange. Like, I'm pretty sure they were designing this to be done with motion control, so it would actually be kind of like an exercise. That was, um... It, is, it was cute, yes. I don't know how Coco's able to do that, since I think she's made out of clay, but I won't question it. Okay. Well, there you go. You got to see Guy Fieri exercise this stream. Hey, Rodney, what's up? <laughs> Mi amigo, great to see ya. Do you think it's fate we became such good friends? Me too! <laughs> yeah, well, you were one of my first villagers, so... That has a lot to do with it. Oh my gosh, yes! I dug up a trembloid! These are the gyroids we planted last time. Rodney skipped the stretches. He's like, man, stretching is <laughs> Which, I, I mean, he's not wrong. So if we actually start putting the gyroids down... Do they still move? Like, they do. Yes. 
It is surreal seeing gyroids in this game. Because we have not had them in, like, literal decades. Oh my gosh, it's so cool having gyroids back. Yes! You can make them stop dancing if you want, but why would you? Nice to meet you, Gyroid! Yeah! Oh, man. We got that. Gyroid Getter. Collect different kinds of gyroids. I have not discovered nearly all of the stamps, so that's kind of funny. Oh, hey! You gotta do the stretching a bunch in order to get more tickets. Cool. I guess. <laughs> Oh, Flora, you're outside. Ooh, big butterfly. This is really the final boss from Hollow Knight. I caught an Atlas Moth. I bet it never gets lost. It could have been introduced in the release date, for sure. But they didn't introduce it in the release date. And partly because I'm sure they wanted to get it out the door with all the lockdowns happening. It did... This game released at the perfect time. Like, literally the perfect time. Woohoo! If it isn't Artie! Today, at long, long last... You mean two days? The cafe is open for business here at Nutra's Museum. I cannot possibly thank you enough for bringing Brewster to us, but I shall at the very least try. <laughs> From the end of my beak to the furthest tips of my tail feathers, thank you, Artie. <laughs> now I imagine you'd like to know where the cafe is. Up the stairs and to the left, you can't miss it. Oh, and just like our museum, the cafe is open, and Brewster is eager to serve at any time, day or night. I'm not sure if he's eager all the time. So, whether it's for the exhibits or for the perfect cup of coffee, please enjoy your visit to our museum. Cool. With all the beverages out in the world, nothing quenches the first quite like water. Here you go. Please analyze all these. Yep, museum already... I can't remember if I've actually completed the fossil exhibits or not. If I haven't, I've certainly come very close. Alright. <laughs> Guy Fieri's gotta check out the late latest joint here. This is the Roost. <laughs> it's the best coffee I've ever had. <laughs> oh, yes. I love this music. I heard great feeds about your coffee, man! <laughs> Thanks for passing that message on back at the remote island. You ever find yourself in need of a cup of coffee? Just swing on by. Coffee's 200 bells. Care for a cup? Yes, please. Sure. Oh man, he's got the Kona coffee maker too. I've heard that's the best kind. Here you go. One cup of the house special. Drink up and enjoy. Mmm, it's just a bit bitter. That's a great cup of coffee, man. <laughs> That's how I like it. Cool. Thank you very much. Man, I gotta tell Godot about this place. It's such I love how cozy it looks. This is adorable. Yes, I'm so glad they brought the roost back. Such a simple little coffee shop, but man, it's so relaxing being in there. And that music, that music is so beautiful and sad, but it fits the coffee shop perfectly. <laughs> this is righteous, man. This place is out of bounds. Seriously, out of bounds. 
That's how we knew we were in Flavortown. Oh, man. Next Animal Crossing game, if they actually do go back to towns, I'm sorely tempted to name my place Flavortown. Whoa! Look at all that iron! All of a sudden, we're playing Minecraft. And before people even ask, it is unlikely I will play Minecraft on this channel. <laughs> I enjoy it from time to time, but I'm not, like, obsessed. Plus, if you want, uh... Minecraft content, there are a thousand creators who could do it way better than me. I've never even beaten the game before, so I'd be like, eh, what do we do next? How do we find the Ender Portal? <laughs> Although, I must admit, in, uh, I, so I had the Wii U version of that, and I played Creative Mode a bit, and I did make a fully constructed, or at least the outer shell of the Death Star. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is a separate rock? I thought this was going to be one of those rocks that just shatters. Well, that stinks. I just said I wasn't going to play it. <laughs> so why would you ask me that? Also, how have I not gotten the prize for picking up all those weeds? Alright, Nook's Cranny. We got a sale! So I can make money. Oh, hey, they're selling a mixer here. I want to sell, 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 baby, sell, sell, sell. Wait, no, not the sporty shades. I actually want the sporty shades. We'll sell the mushroom. We don't need the mushroom. Why would I play Fortnite on my channel? Why would I do that? I also forgot I was going to sell weeds. I still don't know what kind of game Fortnite even is, by the way. Just for ch What's the turnip prices? Current prices, 130 bells per turnip! Folks, that's pretty good! <laughs> of course, I don't have turnips, but... That's all the more reason to avoid it. I'm not looking for addictive games to, on my channel. I'm looking for nice, fun, simple, relaxing, quiet games. Visit. I will visit Harv. I can't visit Harv like this, though. I, I'm going to change out of the, the Guy Fieri apparel. It was fun, but... Flavor Town. I just had to dress up for it to see how good the roost was. And to show off that I have the ability to dress like Guy Fieri for some reason. <laughs> it's not perfect, because we don't have an option for to add tattoos, but... Okay, we also need to move some of this stuff to storage. In fact, most of this is going into storage. Yeah, alright. Yeah. First, we get our hair back to normal. Yes. Perfect. Mm hmm. <laughs> Not even necessarily what my hair looks like IRL, but it'll fit for this next outfit. Now, in real life, I hate getting dressed up. It may look cool, but it's very uncomfortable. But in this, I should have... 
No, I should have a spo Oh, wait, I think I have it tied to, um... I may have my super sporty outfit tied to a magic wand, actually. Shoot. <laughs> we can wear the paper bag on our head. That could be fun. I forgot you can dress with a paper bag. It's kind of funny. Could go around dressing like a cat, but then people would think I'm a furry. So let's not. Mm. That bunny shirt doesn't look so good. Oh wait, we just bought the uh, the yeah. But first, actually, uh, where's my magic wand? I can't remember which wand it is tied to, or it may not even be... Wait. I can't remember if it has to be a specific wand or not. There we go, that's... <laughs> I'm a crusader! <laughs> no, we're going with this. <laughs> we must retake the Holy Land. <laughs> I'll be... Okay, I'm wearing the crusader outfit when I'm going to Harv's Island. <laughs> Hallelujah intensifies. When did I put together the Crusader's outfit? I don't remember doing this. But I'm so glad I did. <laughs> a mighty fortress is our god. Oh, wait. Anka, what you thinking about? Hi, it's me. <laughs> oh, Artie, thank you goodness you've got to help me. It seems Maud and I have had a falling out. I don't even know why. Apparently, I said something incredibly cruel, but I don't know what it was. I want to make up, so I got a little gift for him, but I'm too nervous to do it in person right now. Is there any chance you could deliver it for me? I would be forever in your debt. She, she looks so cute. Like, uh, yes, I, I'd be happy to help. Oh, thank you so much. I'm sorry to burden you with this, but, well, here it is. <laughs> I suppose it's a little late today, so tomorrow we'll have to do... No, we can do it tonight! <laughs> Come to Jerusalem! <laughs> okay, I, I completely forgot I put together the Crusader's outfit, and it's my new favorite thing. <laughs> This reminds me of, I had a, a, in my new leaf town, I had Crusader Chicken. I think it was a chicken named Knox, and he was dressed like a Crusader, and it was amazing. You came back, Max Mob! Just one surprise after another. I got a delivery for you. I'm surprised you could recognize me with this outfit on. Here you go! Huh? Something from Anka for me? I wonder what it is. Well, only one way to find out. A delivery jacket! Very cool! Can't wait to show off my new gear! Uh... <laughs> Why wait? Try it on. Good thing, bud. Check it out. It's a different hoodie. What do you think, USA? I wish I could change the camera angle so I could see the front. It looks great. Aw, oh, thanks! That really gets me fired up! If Anka's that serious about our friendship, I better go get try to work fiends out. Thanks for making the delivery, Maximum. Guess I should probably be buds with Anka again. I'm gonna give you the athletic jacket I was wearing as a thank you gift. Is that the U of M jacket? I already have one. <laughs> Sorry for giving you my old stuff, but it'll be worth it a lot when I win big in the dodgeball tourney, USA. I, that's a good question. Why is his bed right in front of his end table? I do not... I don't know. Dude, Crusader's outfit is amazing. And the gyroids are here to serenade me. There's just so many wins. Artie, you did us ask and gave Mott the present. Well, how did you go? Is he still angry with me? Here's the story. So he isn't angry with me anymore. That's such a relief. Thanks for helping me extend that olive branch, so to speak. I think everything's going to be okay. Well, isn't that what friends are for, Anka? Okay, let's go to Harv's Island. Now, Harv's Island was a huge disappointment in the base game, but maybe they made it cooler. 
In the base game, it's like, you want to take photos of Harv's Island? It's like, no. It's like, well, that's literally the only thing you can do here. Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Lutra Airport. How can I help you out today? I want to fly. Roger. So, just to get the paperwork all official, where did you want to go? Let's go to Harv's Island. Harv's Island! Roger that, good buddy! I could set you up right now, but are you ready? All packed and stuff. Time for liftoff to infinity and beyond! Alright, let's get you airborne. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower. Wilbur, you copy? Got a walker who needs wings, over. Roger, ready when you are. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would Dodos do? Not fly! <laughs> I like how their names are Orville and Wilbur, which are the names of the albatrosses from The Rescuers. <laughs> the dodo has landed. Hold on, Harvey's AWOL. Not like him to abandon his post, or do much of anything really. Except, there's a new path over there. Land rate based recon's not my area, so it looks like it's up to you. Tays <laughs> Volt. Oh, I should have. Oh. It could be dangerous, folks. Wait, what do you mean I can't use my golden axe? This is some grade A... not fun stuff. Orville and Wilbur are the Wright brothers. That makes even more sense, yes. Harriet? I didn't know you were in this game. So did you get the little note I sent you? Well, you must have since you're here. I'm so excited to share this with you. This... This right here is going to be the heart of our new collective. I've really put my soul into this. Oh, but I've had plenty of help from all kinds of folks along the way. Like my old pal Harriet here. We go way back. You can call her Hattie for short if you want. They most certainly cannot call me that, Harv. Only you can call me that. Sorry, Sugar. I'm Harriet. It's nice to finally meet you. I've heard all about you from Harv here. Well, uh, there you have it. So, where was I? Oh, right. My dream collective. Well, this is what I envision as the heart of the movement. A central plaza filled with co-ops. Now, here's the business part where it gets kind of ugly. I hate even talking about bells, you know? But a co-op can't build itself without a little cooperation. So, I think the best play idea is to have a little fundraiser. <laughs> She's hippied out. Uh, are they? I, I thought they were just business partners. Oh, well, maybe. Every time we raise enough capital for a co-op, we get a new one going. Golly, did I just say capital? Well, I suppose that's my sales pitch. Sorry, I never was cut out for sales. But I'd be mighty grateful if you were interested in helping us realize this dream. I don't even know what your business model is. This sounds like a pyramid scheme. <laughs> even if it's only a little bit at a time, every little bit helps. <sighs> Leave it to me, I guess. Oh, that's great. Out of this world. I knew I could count on you to help me already. Well, I mean, it's Animal Crossing. Nobody's trying to con you in Animal Crossing except for Crazy Red and Lyle, the insurance salesman. I actually got another old pal to volunteer as well. You know my buddy Lloyd, don't you? Well, he was so kind as to reach out to some of his pals, also named Lloyd, and they'll all be volunteering. So when you're ready, just go ahead and talk to any old Lloyd about which co-op he's collecting for. Feel free to explore the area, meditate, or snack on some vegan pumpkin nochi if the egg mood strike. Or gnocchi, sorry. Not nochi, <laughs> gnocchi. <laughs> Yuck, vegan, no thanks. Thanks for helping us, and I'll see you around. So, um... It's not letting me use any of my tools, otherwise I would be retaking the Holy Land, but... Alright. What's up? Good evening, buddy! We are accepting donations to fund a mysteriously accurate fortune to- Oh, no! No way! Uh-uh, Katrina sucks! She's the worst. <laughs> Is it gonna be like Katrina, Wendell, Sahara? Good evening, buddy! We are accepting donations for a merchant offering rugs and mysterious wallpapers. Okay, so that is Sahara. I should have brought more cash! Good evening, buddy. We are accepting donations to fund an old timer will give you access to your home storage. Oh, that sounds like Cornimer! <laughs> What's the purpose of having your home storage on the island, though? I just don't get it. 
Accepting donations for a talented husband and wife furniture refurbishing team. Oh, it's the alpacas! Reese and, uh, what's his name? I mean, we can do that by hand, though. Most of these just don't sound worth it. Accepting donations for a botany expert with the greenest of thumbs. Oh no, it's the creepy gingerbread man. Looking back, pretty much all these characters suck except for Sahara. Let me guess, one of these is going to be for Gracie. The ambiguously flamboyant giraffe. Yes! As a matter of fact, they are! Harv is working so hard to get the shops here. It's so, so great to see him more energetic than before. That's all you have to say? Good evening, buddy. Accepting donations for a dapper dealer of fine shoes. Oh, it's uh, Kix the Skunk. I forgot about him. Where is Wendell? Wendell the Walrus was great. He was not here. Okay, well, we ain't got enough money for any of these co-ops. Well, that was a that was a good use of our time, now, wasn't it? Hey, Hud. Hey, I got a question bounced around in that noggin. Um, yes, about the shops. Hope it's not, where are all the shops, Harv? Ha <laughs> ha. Trust me, we're working on it. I hope we can have a bustling cooperative here in no time. Now, I hope it don't sound like a banker or anything, but any little donation would really help. <laughs> Just strike up a little conversation with any of the Lloyds. Uh, well, I mean, I have enough money to more than fund all of these. I just don't have any way of getting to it. Trainwreck Pumpkin Pie is reporting Tango Colvera is over. I want to go home. This place sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, once we get the shops, it'll definitely be more interesting. But, uh, yeah, it's like, do you want to take photos of my house? No! <laughs> Dog on it. We don't get to retake the Holy Land today. Don't mess with the Crusaders. Dum ba dum ba dum bum dum bum 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 dum bum 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 bum. That's not intimidating or anything. <laughs> also, if memory serves. Nook should be giving me access to extended home storage. Ha, ah, Artie, hello, hello. You have more storage in your home now? Yes, yes, perfect for storing all sorts of furniture and things. I think we can expand your home storage even further, in case you ever feel cramped, that is. If you want to discuss another storage option, I'm always happy to talk about your home. But also... Please accept from the following services. Uh, so, unless I'm mistaken, they said there was a new option here for... Island Life 101 Service. Yes, I would. that's new. I would love this. Your order has been processed. Please place your Nook phone near the terminal to receive the app data. One of these, I think, lets me get my, a, my bank from anywhere. Island Life 101. Your app has been installed. Thank you for using the Nook Stop. I love how it's like this... I installed Island Life 101. Now I'll get lots of helpful advice on my living here for my Nook phone. This is rife for uh, Photoshop and memes as a result. <laughs> Crusader memes. Wait, no, not Nook shopping. No, redeem Nook miles. Be a chef! DIY? What?! New DIY recipes! Your order has been processed. Please place your Nook phone. And it's for being a chef? Oh, I'm, I'm pumped! DIY recipes plus... Your app has been updated. Thank you for using the Nook Stop. Is, is this the cooking update? Is it becoming Breath of the Wild now? Oh, cool! My DIY episode... App, app, Let's try that again. Oh, cool! My DIY recipes app was upgraded to DIY recipes plus. Time to find a kitchen and get cooking. Oh my gosh. We can make the Red Wall Feast. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes. Whoa, all of these! Pro camera app, let's get them all! <laughs> we have more than enough miles, I want them all! <laughs> your order has been processed. Please place your Nook phone near the terminal. Pro camera? 
Let's take a photo of your real face. No! Your app has been updated. Thank you for using the Nook Stop. Looks like my camera app got updated with a new mode. I can't wait to take more photos. <laughs> I don't really want to take more photos. Custom Design Pro Editor Plus? Is that going to make custom designs easier? <laughs> this is already downloading fake apps on his fake phone. The stream. If while we're in a Crusader outfit, your app has been updated. Thank you for using the Nook Stop. Now I can make even more items with pro custom designs. I can't wait to start creating. Does that just make it so we can store more? Or is it like it makes it easier to actually do it? It's ambiguous. Custom designs portal. Yeah, why not? I'm glad that they specify that in advance. If you don't have the online Switch membership, don't get this. I do have the online Switch membership. Your app has been updated. I'll take a look. I'll take a look. Yes, I can... I'll, uh, I can... Uh, bleh. So excited that I can't even talk. I can only speak old English. Old with an E at the end. Redeem 1,800 miles for Custom Design Patterns Plus. Your order has been processed. Who's flying the helicopter right outside my window? Your app has been updated. <laughs> Imagine this, like, Middle Ages Crusader just, like, getting a smartphone, downloading apps, and freaking out about it. Sable's Handmade Patterns! Aw, yeah! I'm just... <laughs> There's so much stuff! Your order has been printed. Oh, wait. Hang on. Okay. I see. This totally makes sense. Oh, no. It's it's an immediate learn. I got my pro decorating license. Now I can use accent walls and ceiling items to realize my vision. What does that even mean? <laughs> Is this some, like, <laughs> astrology stuff? Custom fencing in a flash. Oh, does this make it easier and faster to make walls after I've already made all the fences I want to in my town? New Horizons is really blurring the line between Animal Crossing and Minecraft. This totally makes sense. Customized fencing! Now there are no barriers to mixing things up with colorful fencing. Oh, maybe I can make custom fence patterns. That could be cool. Okay, I think everything down at this point is... Nope, that's... Mmm, that's new. I think that's new. That's a lot of bells, but... Having a portable ATM would be great. Top from... More hairstyles! Really? <laughs> you got a ticket with four new hairstyles on it. Not that I'm going to be using any of these. They already have all the normal ones that I would want. I learned some new hairstyles. New reactions notebook? That wasn't there two seconds ago. Gimme. <laughs> this is seriously one of the most surreal things. Just this this old crusader who's just at, at the ATM downloading apps and printing out receipts and freaking out. It's great. I learned some new reactions! <gasps> all of them? Oh no, not all of them. That's amazing. Okay, now we're out. Okay. I will get the uh, ABD. Do I get it? Oh, I get it by mail. 
I'm going to buy this, and then next time I play, I'll for completely forget about this. Your redemption request has been processed. Well, I don't have a whole lot of miles anymore. Well, that was surreal, wasn't it? <laughs> Can I flex while holding the golden axe? This is what I really want to know. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Work it, act na <laughs> Let's act natural while wearing this outfit. There's nothing weird about this at all. Nothing weird at all. <laughs> I'm so eager <laughs> to retake the Holy Land. Oh, this won't be ominous or anything? There's an item that you get that lets you access storage outside. That's pretty great. No, I don't want to wrap things up. I want to look at my new apps. Pro camera. You can use the minus button to switch between different camera types like handheld and tripod. Handheld camera. This mode lowers the camera to eye level. Use it to take all kinds of high-impact close-up photos. Tripod camera. This holds the camera in one spot at eye level, letting you move around to find the perfect angle and pose. Okay, let's try the handheld camera. Oh my gosh, it's first-person shooter. Uh, it's first-person... Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I wish that I could, like, rotate around, but... Uh, all right, all right, all right. I, I admit it, that's pretty awesome. Surprised they didn't have that. Nook Miles Plus... Writing a cookbook? Maybe. So what new DIY recipes do you get? You can now craft food and drinks with cooking recipes. Instead of a workbench, you'll need a kitchen to prep these. Cool! Uh, can I filter for that? Pancakes?! Aw, oh, dude! Oh my gosh, this is the best update ever. I can make a pumpkin ba- Why a pumpkin bagel? But that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, fish- Fish actually have a purpose now. Dude, this is awesome! Oh, I love this. Pro Designs, thank you for upgrading to the Custom Designs app. You can now create pro designs for face cutout standees, handheld flags, umbrellas, and Uchiwa fans. You can now hold 50 additional slots! Hey, that's what I was looking for. We hope you enjoy creating... <laughs> Please note you must have this to use this feature. That was a lot of information that I skimmed past. But sure enough, yep, yeah, that's a lot of new stuff. That's really cool. And uh, next page, what is the Island Life 101? Check this app every day for useful tips on how to make the most out of island living. Is this just like a fake social media app? Lame. Alright, let's find a villager to... Oh, yeah. Ignore the fact that I have a giant axe. Oh, wait. Do that again. I missed it. Hang on. Oh, okay, now that's interesting. Okay, sorry, bro. I I didn't realize what take a picture button was. Can you pose again? Yeah, pose right in front of the building. Right in front of the tapestry of Martin the Warrior. There we go. What a beauty. What a beauty. Okay. As fun as the Crusader outfit is. <laughs> hey, look, I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> but what I really wanted... The formal outfit. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am quite spiffy, am I not? Why, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm just here to uh, withdraw a very small sum of money. Oh, it's nothing, it's nothing too big. Just, you know, one million bells. <laughs> Actually, Nook said I can expand my storage even more, so we should, we should do that. Hello, Tom Nook. 
Yes, I'm a very, very fancy individual here. Ah, Artie, yes, this is the construction... Let's hold the ceremony for what? <laughs> for what? <laughs> Time to talk about your home, which always does is bad by storage. Yes, yes, of course, I can... I need 900,000 bells. Oh, well, I just took out a small loan of one million, so yes. Let's hold the ceremony, I guess? You want to take part in the ceremony, Artie? Right now we can hold the ceremony. Oh, oh yeah, the museum. Oh, yes. Okay, that's right. <laughs> well, yes, it was... Yes, it was indeed my... <laughs> it was my doing that made this museum renovation possible. <laughs> yes, I am very wealthy, indeed. Now then, I'd like to begin our special ceremony celebrating the grand opening of the fancy new museum. Thank you. Our fine Lutra started with nothing more than a single tent, and now just look at it now. Thanks to everyone's hard work and dedication, I simply can't thank you all enough. I want to invite the museum's curator Blavers and the Roost's owner Brewster to say a few words. Yes, yes, gentlemen, if you would both be so kind. Residents of Lutra, I most humbly thank each and every one of you for your ongoing support to our most esteemed museum. Brewster and I are old friends, and it pleases me to my very pin feathers to have him open this cafe here. This new edition shows how our museum is more than an institution of learning and culture. It is also a place for rest, relaxation, and stirring conversation among the Lutra community. I do hope the Roost's coffee fuels many an animated discussion, and I look forward to seeing you all here. Come by if you want some coffee. I'll clean a cup for you. <laughs> Bavers, Brewster, thank you both. Next, I'd like to thank the one who tracked Brewster down, our resident representative, Artie. <laughs> yes, yes, just for money. Thanks for your appreciation. <laughs> it's only right that we get a comment from Artie as well, hmm? Anything to add? <laughs> we're, we're so amazing. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Artie. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commander bit of photo should get ready to press the snaps or shot button. Yes, well then, with hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Lutra's beautiful museum, hooray! Aw, oh, that's cute. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. I swear, when I had the option of so make uh, hold a ceremony, I thought he was talking about for my expanded storage. I'm like, how vain would that be? And of course, since I'm wearing the fancy rich guy monocle outfit, I had to do it. Yes, it was very important. I oh, I should have had oh, I should have had the the ceremony in the crusader outfit. Why well, yes, I think I will just take out another very small loan of one million. <laughs> I actually do need to watch it because I don't have infinite money. But this should be enough, I believe, to buy everything on Harv's Island. And to go there as the rich and wealthy business investor. <laughs> just call me Uncle Pennybags, dear boy. <laughs> Excuse me, Mott, I'm just off to make a fabulously wealthy donation. <laughs> to a hippie. Yes, yes, please let me fly over to Harv's Island again. This is Harv's Island, old boy. <laughs> I actually have enough money this time. <laughs> Harv's like, man, I really don't want to ask for money, but I'm like, I'll take it all. Touch down like reading fortunes and change jar. We are packed and pound. <laughs> I did not say that right. Give a quack to win back. All right. Good evening, buddy. Accepting donations. Yeah, I'll help. As much as possible. Here you go. <laughs> the new co-op will begin soon. <laughs> Alright, we reached a donation goal thanks to my fabulous wealth. <laughs> what? Oh, you can only do one at a time. Rad.
that! I wanted to be- I wanted to buy them all! <laughs> Harvest work, it's so hard to get the shops here. It's so great. Darn. I wanted to go and just drop a butt-ton of money and just be like, <laughs> just like throwing money on my way out. Why, yes, it is wonderful! Hey, Artie, I heard you pushed over the top with a generous donation today. That's just groovy of you. I'm not a big paperwork guy, but I did go ahead and file the papers for the new shop. It'll be open tomorrow. Hope to see you there. Yeah, I will probably not be playing this tomorrow, but who knows? Hey, congrats on finishing Chapter 2. Chapter 2 is, in my opinion, one of the weaker chapters, but Chapter 3 is amazing. Trainwreck Fruit Parfait is reporting. You want to you wanna go back already? Yes. All right, rich business investor. Did, oh my gosh, look at all those sacks of ninety-nine thousand bells. That's just too much. That is a problem. Alakazam, we're a crusader again. Because that's just my favorite outfit now. Nobody wants to mess with Artie the Crusader. Well, I got—I gotta say—I'm feeling a little bit gypped on not be not finding any messages in a bottle. I thought there was supposed to be one every day. Also, I don't know who the villa the the guest uh, is. I haven't run into them. Wait, wait, it might be Crazy Red actually. <gasps> it's Crazy Red. People still say radical these days. Less so. Now Artie gets to try his hand at how well he knows art. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite cousin. Glad to have you back aboard, Jolly Red's treasure trawler. Oh, store policy, I know it, you know it. We have a limit of one art piece per customer per day. Choose wisely. Now, the, the honest John voice is not working for Crazy Red. <laughs> Only one art piece per day. Okay. You just have a card tower here. Charm and elegance of a fine mint tea wrapped up into a card tower. As much as I want to charge you the full price, I can have about 30 for Hold on, I want to take a look at all this stuff. Okay, that's pretty cool. I won't lie, an awful lot of folks have been asking me about buying that informative statue there. But maybe the price scared them off, so I'll sell it to you for 5,000 bells. Deal of the summer, you in? I want a closer look. Okay. Now, this is cheating, yes. But I'm looking up. Because uh, he can sell you fakes. And you actually can tell the fakes from the real ones. Because the fake ones will look slightly different than the real-life versions of them. So this is... The informative statue. Wow, that did not at all put me in the right place. Oh, okay. So this is clearly a fake. <laughs> the real one is gray, and this is blue. It's extremely detailed, best part. No! I didn't know if it was like a fancy new... It's supposed to be like an ancient block. So of course it shouldn't be blue. You can just feel that glowing painting. Okay. I want a closer look at this. The wall scroll might be real. We'll see. Oh! The glowing painting cannot be a fake. It is always real. 
Now I want to see if, however, I actually already have this in my inventory. Because if I've already bought this and donated it, there's not much point in getting it again. I do not! Cool. Then we will be buying this. I know just what you like. My offer's still good for 5,000 bells. You got, you got yourself a deal! You're not going to regret it. I'll just take those bells from you. <laughs> he could have charged me way more for that. I don't know if he knows that I just have a, a million bells on in cash on me, but there you go. You're now the proud owner of this glowing painting. Been a pleasure doing business with you, cousin. I'll get your art packed up and shipped out tomorrow. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, yes, yes. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Crazy Red, Crazy Red, let me get a selfie. Let me, let me get a selfie. Oh, I can't aim down. Good chink. Oh, hey, hey, Crazy Red. Red. Oh, he's doing it back. Like, what's wrong with this guy? This is amazing! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the detail in this game. Go <laughs> Hope you don't mind if I just sniff your boat a little bit. You won't regret it. Oh, I don't know if I think we both know that that's not true, Crazy Red. <laughs> He's like, man, that guy was so weird. <laughs> All right, uh, something tells me that I need to remap some of these emotions to have new favorites. So I'm definitely favoriting the smell. Uh, who needs love when you can smell people creepily? Yeah. What else do we not need? Uh, I don't think we need fearful. We can re we can replace that with something else. Like oh flex. I wanna I wanna shortcut flex. Oh yes. Absolutely we do. What could poss I see no downside to this. Is everybody just in their houses now? Joey's in his house. Mott is not in his house. Rodney's not in his house. Flora's not in her house. Oh it's Flora! Hey Flora! Don't mind if I just sniff you. I just really, I just really feel like sniffing people today. Don't mind me. I'm not weird. I'm just, I'm going on a crusade. I, I'm looking for people to join my crusade, but only if they smell nice. Do you smell nice? Mmm. Yes, you do. You smell like clay. You smell like my art teacher's old kiln. It's amazing. I love that smell. Ah, Lobo, you're having a nice lie down. Tell me, do you smell nice? Mmm, you smell like wet dog. I don't know if we need you for our, uh... <laughs> I don't know if we need you for the crusade. How about you? You've got the heart of a lion, but you have the smell of one. <sniffs> Ugh, you smell like sweat. You've been working out too much, Mott. All right, Rodney. How do you smell? <sniffs> do you smell... Mmm, you smell like cheese. What a surprise. <laughs> really? 6,000 crunches in one minute? Well, I did the math! The abdominal dissenter <laughs> claims to offer the same workout as doing 100 crunches per second. Wow, it's amazing what you can get on the internet these days. And what I did? What if I did actual crunches while wearing it? It's like crunches on crunches. But they didn't account for someone doing that. You're definitely going to be ripped and shredded. But will you smell nice? <sighs> no, 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 no. It's not at all what I wanted you to smell like. We only take winners, and winners smell like winners. Rats, I can't smell people when they're in their house. That would be weird. Smelling people outside their house is fine, but when they're in the house, that's that's a little bit creepy. Uh, not 
not sure what else there really is to do. We've done a whole lot. We got... Oh, wait, I know. I know, folks. I know what we can do. So what's weird here is that even though we're wearing the Crusader's outfit, technically speaking, we're still wearing the Hawaiian outfit. Which is interesting. But one thing I haven't shown off, I haven't shown off all of my uh, custom designs. For example, Charlie Brown's shirt. <laughs> Good grief. Got Jeremy's shirt from Zitz. We've seen the red wall habit on other people. The Peter Fox hoodie. Then my personal favorites. Phoenix Wright's jacket. Can we do the... <laughs> what would be the most fitting for the objection? There's there's a shout one, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Objection! <laughs> but it gets even better, because we also have Edgeworth's coat with the cravat. Objection! Oh, man. I love this game. The bold Aloha shirt. Next time I play it, it's going to be in winter, and I'm wearing the Aloha shirt, and it's like, it's so cold! Why are you making me do this? Just suck it up, man. It's fine. I should probably pick some of these pumpkins and sell them. You can get a bunch of different colored pumpkins, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> you can make, like, green jack-o'-lanterns with the green pumpkins. Wait, why did I get... Did I fulfill a Nook Miles reward for doing this? I did. Nothing feels quite like harvesting produce that you grew by the sweat of your brow. Yes, yes. Now go enjoy the fruits of your labor. Okay. Cool. I guess that was a special lane. Oh, we gotta try out the kitchen. Duh. We gotta make some food. Make food for the Great Redwall Feast. Yes, please. I've been waiting for this. Pro decorating license. Time to learn about the accent walls and hanging items from the ceiling. Accent walls. You can hang a different type of wallpaper on one of the walls in a room to create an accent wall. That's cool. In decorating mode, use right on the D-pad, then select wallpaper. That, okay, okay. Hanging items from the ceiling. You can hang lighting fixtures and other items from the room's ceiling. When in decorating mode, use the D-pad to swap modes so you can edit ceiling fixtures. This is kind of cool. Definitely like the red hue of that. I didn't... Wait, can I hang money from the ceiling? Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not... I haven't made any plans to stream this in the winter, no. But, I mean, this might be one that I come back to and play very occasionally every so often. Nothing definite, though. Do I actually actually... Do I actually actually... Does this count as a kitchen? No, it doesn't. Got the old... Okay, I need... Wait, I might actually have a kitchen in my storage. Oh my gosh, why do I have so many pumpkins in storage? I have a microwave. Would that count? System kitchen. Okay. I mean, this totally clashes with the red wall kitchen, but it doesn't matter. It is a kitchen, and I can use it to make stuff. Should I make something with the system kitchen? Yes, please. 
Pancakes need flour and sugar. Cherry smoothie needs cherry. Okay. Oh, hey! I, I had that at the very beginning of the game. Yeah. Wheat? Sugar cane? How do the heck do you get this stuff? Do they sell it at the store? Tomatoes? Okay, so the only thing we can actually get here... The only thing we can actually get is the cherry smoothie. And the sea bass. Okay, I can't believe it, but for once we're actually going to want to catch a sea bass. For the first time in Animal Crossing history. Leaf? Oh, that's what he opens up. Oh, so leaf's actually going to be an important thing to get. All right. For the first time in Animal Crossing history, ladies and gentlemen, we actually want to catch a sea bass. You're a big boy? This looks promising. What do you mean you're too far away? Darn it. I need to remember, don't... Ooh, hang on. I need to remember for fishing, you don't go based on eyesight. You go based on uh, hearing. Generally, when I fish, I find it's best to close your eyes and just listen for when it actually does the big bite. As a wise... Wait. There's the empty bottle. I was on an aimless stroll. Annalise, eh? Palm tree lamp. I guess I never checked the beach over here. Cool. Alright, that is way too small to be a sea bass. Whoa! Look at all these bugs! I caught a Horn Dynasty beetle. Bonk! Yes! I caught a Psychomatis stag! I'm pretty sure that's too small to be a sea bass, but... Sea bass are generally pretty big, if I remember correctly. They are in the other games. Whoa! Pufferfish! I thought you would be tougher, fish. Oh, guys, I have fish bait. And I can get more recipes in Nook Store. Ooh, cool. Yep, closing your eyes. That is genuinely the best strategy for this. Okay, we can swap it with some of the pumpkins. We can also go back and deposit uh, our money again. Because we don't need this much. Also, the store is going to close soon, so we better we better get on that. We will deposit that one million back again. Save it for a rainy day. And tomorrow's forecast does look pretty overcast. Tom Nook is like <laughs> in the air conditioning just reading his novel. This gotta be a boring job. What all these I keep forgetting yep, summer is definitely the bug season. No doubt to that, eh? Nook Miles. We caught the bugs. Alright, but first, it can't take that long to catch a sea bass, right? <laughs> it's supposed to be, like, the most common fish. I mean,. Most of the sea bass memes were from the GameCube version, where it was one of only, like, I think literally one of only five ocean fish in the entire game, and one type of ocean fish was just ridiculously rare and could only be caught in thunderstorms, and the other was, and another was only in August. 
So it's like most of the year there were only three ocean fish you could catch, and like 95% of the time it was a sea bass. Man, GameCube Animal Crossing was the best. Well, maybe it wasn't the best, but it was definitely my favorite. Let's take a look at what we got today. Basic cooking recipes. That's the one we want. Okay, I'll buy it. We are done. We hope you enjoy making food and drinks even more with all those new recipes. Recipes. It's kind of weird how you can buy that more than once. Wow, that's a lot of recipes for the cookbook. But I like that. That seems like it's a cool change. Alright, sea bass. I'm gonna catch you. No, not you. You're too small. Nope. You're also too small. Wow, and that fish bait did- Oh, okay, it did, but you're also too small. I want at least something this size. I will take a red snapper as well, because we can sell him for some nice money. I could cook something to this fish. Yeah! I've come up with a recipe for pesque alia pasta. I can't pronounce that. That's cool, though. I caught a fish, and he's excited to cook it. That's a lot of... That's a lot of shells all in a row. Come on, why is the game being so stingy with the, the sea bass? We also need cherries for the uh, cherry cordial. That's, that's a red wall drink they have from time to time. It's usually strawberry cordial, but cherry cordial was another one, I think. Oh, yeah, because there's that part in Martin the Warrior where there's the random hedgehog who, like, drugs them all with, like, cherry cordial and, like... Would he literally would have killed them with the cherry cordial if like an, a certain owl hadn't been there and like everyone's just like oh what a what a character <laughs> that aggro the hedgehog he he's oh man like he's such he's such a crook <laughs> and like nobody even cares that he was like actively trying to murder people by giving them drug cherry cordial that was that was a fun book. A barred knife jaw! I could cook something with this fish, too! The barred knife jaw! Okay, I'm pretty sure that was carpaccio, but it looked like it said cappuccino. I could make a cappuccino with this barred knife jaw. That would be disgusting. Man. Yeah, fishing with your eyes closed, so much easier than with your eyes open. Like, it's not even funny. I caught a zebra turkey fish, and I caught five fish. I need to get some of the miles back after I spent, like, half of them. And yeah, the stream's going over time a little bit tonight, but that's okay. We're having fun, and I want to make... I want to catch a sea bass and roast it. That sounds cathartic after all of the times I caught a sea bass and could do nothing with it in the GameCube 1. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what could be a better combo? I caught a squid. I could cook something really different looking with squid ink. I've got some ideas. <laughs> Just a squirt of squid ink. Definitely mix squid ink with cake mix. It makes no sense, but it actually makes a recipe. In a certain Mario game that is two-dimensional. Now see, it depends. Remember, I get to choose half the characters, and Twitch chat gets to choose half the characters. So it really just depends on what we choose. I already know which characters I'll be choosing. I'll, I'll, I'll look for a sea bass for a little bit more, but not a whole lot more. Okay. Maybe the river fish will give me some recipes as well. We... I caught a tilapia! Really? That didn't give me any recipes? Hey, Lobo, what's up? Hey, a little bird told me you have an athletic jacket. Is that true? Well, it's technically Mott's, but I guess it's mine now. Say, you wouldn't be thinking about selling that thing, would you? How much? Oh, well, I could go as high as 168 bells. Tempted? Eh, I'm not gonna wear it. Oh, yeah? Well, giddy up. I've heard squid ink pasta is good. But squid ink in the cake? Probably not. I owe you one, kiddo. I won't forget this. Ow! <laughs> Werewolves of London, ow! <laughs> this has renewed my vigor to fish. This game better not go in the direction of like, oh my gosh, I caught this bug. Oh, a freshwater goby. I thought he was in the salt water. This game better not go in the direction of, like, I cut a bug. That gives me an idea for a recipe. Like, we're not going down that road. No, Lobo, don't scare it away. Can't tell if that was Lobo who scared it away or me, but... Either way, that's unfortunate. Oh my gosh, I caught a cockroach. I know what I could make. It's like, no, no, we not eating bugs here. Oh, well, you know, already certain cultures do eat bugs. Yeah, not this culture, though. And you know what? They eat bugs because they don't have anything better to eat. Because those are third world countries. <laughs> Nobody who has access to, like, good things like cows or, like, <laughs> pigs <laughs> would eat bugs. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Sea bass? How is this turned around? Normally I am crawling for sea bass, but then today, the one time I want it, now all of a sudden they decide they don't want to play? <laughs> Alright, fine. You know what? I didn't even want to make a sea bass based dish, anyways. I can make a delicious fish dinner with the barred knife jaw and. Ooh! And the red snapper, and I wonder who dropped this present. A summer shell rug. And I didn't have that before. Cool. Alright. Do, 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 do. Should I make some? Yeah, I just don't get why people are like, because there's kind of a movement going on of like, people in America should eat bugs too. It's like, no, no. We have basically everything here. Why would we want to eat bugs? 
Okay, we need stuff. We don't have to. We do. Why does everything need tomatoes? Oh, there we go. Bar knife jaw carpaccio. Only needs bar knife jaw. No seasoning, nothing like that. Look what I made some barf knife jaw carpaccio. I mean, I wouldn't eat it, but hey, I've heard people like carpaccio. Squid ink curry. Too bad we don't have flour. Squid ink spaghetti. That's the same. The exact same ingredients go in both of these, but one of them is a curry and one of them is a spaghetti. Gnocchi di patate. Ooh, potato gnocchi. Organic bread. Oh, I want the bread basket. We need the bread basket. Seaweed soup. We need seaweed. We need, do we need the sugar cane? We also have brown sugar cupcakes. Delicious. Carrot cake. The lamest of cakes. Here, we'll make the cherry smoothie. Did you just shake pepper in my cherry smoothie? How dare you? Oh my gosh, the cooking update is my new favorite. It's like in Kingdom Hearts 3 where I got completely distracted by the fact that you can make food in that. Oh, uh, do Let us place the carpaccio right there. We can place the smoothie right there. Oh, wow, look at this, the feast. The feast is getting better. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so delicious. I can't wait. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a demon in me. You know how it be sometimes. I mean, I guess it depends on what you mean by, like, the gross parts of animals. Because, like, there are some parts where you'd be like, okay, like, that doesn't sound appealing, but it actually is. Like, you wouldn't think pork belly would be good. Pork belly is freaking amazing. It's what we make bacon out of. Uh, we're very gross, we're very weird about what? Eating bugs or eating quote-unquote gross parts of animals? Because again, quote-unquote gross parts of animals are generally, generally can be good if you prepare them properly. But I'm more just like, why bugs? With, out of all of the meat options, why bugs? You need to eat a bunch of them in order to get the protein that you would need. Turkey Day recipes. All Turkey Day recipes. That that was one really cool part that I loved about New Leaf, where they had the Turkey Day festival, and like the turkey was making the food, and you like had to get ingredients for them. I really, really liked that. That was really fun. All right. At this point, I do believe we can wrap things up. <laughs> <laughs> That's because we're very blessed in America to basically have access to any type of food that we want. And so we're like, well, why would we eat Rocky Mountain oysters when we could have filet mignon? And for those of you who don't know what Rocky Mountain oysters are, I won't spoil it for you, but I will just say they do not come from the Rocky Mountains, nor are they oysters. And wow, what a way to end the Animal Crossing stream by talking about Rocky Mountain Oysters. Save complete. Well, that was fun. Harv's Island looks like it might actually get cooler in the future. And we can now cook food. Ah, I like cooking food. I like cooking food in real life, too. Like, I actually thoroughly enjoy cooking. And I'm always, I'm always on the lookout for new cool recipes. Especially recipes that are on the healthier side that give me my vegetable intake because I don't eat as many vegetables as I probably should. Although I do eat lots and lots of baby carrots. You can't cook? Well, I don't think you can't cook. I think it's just a case if you don't know how to cook or don't have recipes. Everyone can learn. <laughs> you know what they say. Anyone can cook. <laughs> if, if you can read and understand basic like cooking nomenclature, you can cook. It's it's not difficult. Maybe I can do a future stream to show off the progress. Yeah, so I don't plan on playing this offline a whole lot. I might play it occasionally. This I would be cool with doing this as a very occasional like hey, I bring this back every so often as like a one or as like a one week deal of like we play some Animal Crossing, we we just chill out. 
maybe that can be like the new like kind of like how I generally do randomizers in between weekend stream series. Maybe this could be the new like in between weekday stream series. I do this. Well, we'll have to we'll have to see. So yeah, that was Animal Crossing New Horizons. That was really fun getting to play that again. I I really really I really like that. Yes. Yeah, so just as a reminder, on Saturday we will be playing Cuphead. We'll be doing the DLC again, but we'll be playing on expert mode and trying to get the best possible rank on the bosses. So uh, that's going to be tough, but it's going to be fun because I hope to, to speedrun that eventually. And then next week, starting on Labor Day, we got that Backyard Baseball Season 4. I'm so pumped, and it's been too long. We're gonna, It's going to be great. So yeah, it was great chatting with you all. It was awesome hanging out with you tonight. I wish you all a fantastic rest of your night, a wonderful night's sleep, and God bless everybody.